Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Eagle Moss official Starships collection model and magazine review, obviously from, from Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. So this one we have, the Sonar Collector. This is Special 25. This was, it is, it is we do get these models very rarely now because the obviously collection finished. They're still doing specials, bonuses, if they get round to the bonuses, these specials are the, the bigger size anyway. But this one is a Sonar's collector we saw in Star Trek Insurrection. The scale of this is possibly, the Enterprise is probably about the size of my finger, maybe a little bit smaller, well, the fingernail at least. So the scale of this is quite big, it's a big, like, space station, but it's a, a collector of all the metagenic whatever thingamajigs and made everybody younger. So let's get inside. Aha! Hello. Now, looks like, without anybody knowing, because this was actually, t technically this model was bought in, I think it was, they told us about in November, bought beginning of December, it's now the end of January, or at least when the video goes out it's beginning of February, so have been waiting quite a while for this, but... They have decided not to give us the larger magazines. I, was, I didn't get this in a bag, it came in a box like this, and it, it's as it is. And I was expecting there'd be no magazine with this, and then I have to complain to Eagle Moss and yada yada. But they have gone down to the smaller scale ones, and this is nice because I can keep that with that and not have it separate with a with another, yeah, another binder on it, which is good. Good being like this. So let's get that lights down. Let's have a look at the actual magazine. So we have Sun Collector Special Edition, Special Issue Science Vessel. Apparently, we're not sure if this is actually is the Sonar's own design or whether or not it's a different planet or a different technology. It could be Cardassian. They've, they've used it for their own. I don't know. It could be anything. Could say anything in here. You wouldn't think the Sonar were actually that technically advanced, but apparently they are. But I don't know. Could repurpose other ships or technologies in different species, I suppose. So it was destroyed in 2375, that's when Insurrection was based. I mean, it wasn't too bad a film, Insurrection. It wasn't great, it was just a bit... Hmm, I don't know. It's still a Star Trek anyway, so we all still kind of like it. And these bits here look very familiar to a different ship, and I can't figure out what. Possibly, no, I'm gonna say Romulan, but I don't, I don't know. Hmm. So we have the, here the metaphysic radiation, which came from the rings, with the Baku that is in, in action. With massive collector sales. They're just like solar sales, to be honest. The artist, John Eves, with some unusual challenges. Yeah, I bet he did. He's really good, John Eves, at designing this sort of stuff. Ah, that's better. We have some nice little drawings. Actually, I'm thinking this section was here. It looks very much like the T Planet Hearth Vulcan ship, which I think he did as well. That's where I'm getting the idea from, because it looks like the part of the landing legs on that. So you can see his style in quite a lot of different. Stuff anyway, that'd have been interesting. Really, really massively long. And then the collector on oh, if the collector's there, yeah, well, mm, a little more compact version there. I mean, it is good to see all these different ideas of what the ship could have looked like. It's inside. To collect all the radiation or whatever. I collect radiation to be honest, in a in a big massive tin can. But this is sci-fi for for you. We just do know it's fine. So I mean, it was a quite a big set that they used for it. And it kind of makes it look like all these panels behind are just the set, and it it, it was actually the back dressing for the the entire scene at the end of interaction. That part there looks like that with the collector that went out, wasn't it? I didn't really see that much, I don't think. 
was ejected out and collected the radiation. Oh, that was part of the simulation, what we saw anyway, which didn't actually happen. So, we have the end of the book there, 20 pages. Is it? Yes, yes, yes. So they haven't got a, a part in here showing what the next one's going to be anyway, so we just don't know. They're getting used, getting ready for the the Build Your Own Enterprise series, we're getting used to the, getting ready for the, it's not the Picard's one, it's they just announced that they're going to be doing more ships, another collection, but they're all kind of this sort of scale. The first one's a Lasserina from from Picard and it's it looks interesting I might get it I might not I'm not sure yet but we'll just see what happens with it there we go there's a sonar collector this looks interesting this looks hmm I don't know let's get on to the base if anybody's interested 7080AA right as for displaying it's one of these ones so you've got a full ship there it just sits on the display stand Easy peasy. So, should we get a little bit uh, look on this? It is quite good. It's very much grey. You wouldn't have thought it'd be grey. There's kind of blue accents inside there. Hmm. I wasn't actually looking forward to this, but now I see it, I quite like it. It's a shame that these couldn't have been clear plastic parts. But that's fine. It's kind of like the um, with a Vija probe. It's kind of repetitive all the way around. Everything's just a it's a three-sided triangular design. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three fins on the back. Back end looks a bit Cardassian, but also a bit Star Warsy. No, I don't know. So let me get you a bit closer, and yes, you can see a lot more. So here's inside the front part. Or is it the back half? I don't know. Bit of detail work on there. Which you can't really see unless you're zooming in. There's the blue lines inside, which would have been nice if it was a clear part in the centre there. But no restrictions, obviously, with them making something like this. And it's not a bad looking design. I'd quite like it. Let's come down the um, main body of this. Like vents, grills, doors. Possibly the sections that were closed off in the film. There's no point. Well, I can spin around for you if you want. There's another section on top of there. And you get back around to the grills again. Because obviously it's a three-sided design. And then you're back here. We have these back grills. Right on the back here. Hmm. I think that's the collector that comes off the front. Yeah. Or the back. Or the side. I don't know. <laughs> so look at the front bit, back bit, side bit, yes, but I mean, even there, that's not too bad. Is it better that way? I don't know. Very hollowy. If these are meant to be just collector sides or whatever then there's probably quite a few decks deep anyway so each one of these is, is way way bigger than what the Enterprise E is probably scale wise it's probably that big and it kind of flew in under here and came along and then back out again being Picard out and off they went so the scale is probably very very big and I probably said that maybe a little bit smaller big I don't know that section there's probably size of the of the ship. So you couldn't really get this the normal Enterprise E into scale for this. You'd have to do a different one. See those are those parts there, it's like they're just stickers on. It doesn't looks like it should be impulse engines, warp engines. And if they was cannibalized from a Vulcan ship, these would have been orange. But your pussy could probably change colours on things, I do know. Do something with it. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'm, I'm a little bit of, is it not painted straight on there on the grills? A little bit misalignment. You can't really see that without going in really close like I'm doing now. Or, or is there misalignment on paint? I don't know. Hmm. In some angles it doesn't look 
like it's been missed on paint, and then sometimes it does. But it's nice enough. So let me get back out for you. Size-wise on these, with them being the larger ones, way over the size of my hand, same width, same length, usually the kind of just the palm of the hand size, but they've been the specials, they are quite bigger. So quite nice indeed. So there we go. That's a sonar collector. We've had the sonar ship was like a curved ship sort of thing, like, like a section off of Deep Space Nine, to be honest. And then you've got this, which I'm positive that looks like the landing legs on the um, T Planet Hath. But yeah, it's like I say, it's John Eves, same designer. So why not, really? So, with that, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow on social media. If you want to get one of these, go to Eagle Moss. Go buy one yourself. Go read the magazine. It's perfectly fine. So, I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. But I will be doing the um, Build Your Own Enterprise D as soon as it comes anyway. So, look out for that. That's going to be a very long, ongoing um, project. Depending on how many, I think it's 120 episodes, or parts at least. I mean, if it's weekly, then fine. We've, we've got a weekly episode to bring out for the for the for that anyway, and then whatever else we'll we'll wedge in between between anyway. So we'll we'll just see what happens with the um, with the collection anyway. So with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the video. Bye for now.